Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. Sam Houston Live. My name is Andrea Rendon. And I'm Nicole Dawkins. We have a very special guest with us tonight. It all started this morning while I was taking my dog out for a walk and I met this nurse that works at a local hospital. She told me about Roy's adaptation model and how effective it was. I just thought it was so remarkable I had to have her on the show tonight. Oh, but don't worry, we were practicing social distancing, of course. We brought the nurse and real patients who were cared for with this theoretical framework and will be sharing their testimonies with us tonight. Here we have Nurse Liz who will explain a little bit of what Roy's adaption model is all about. Thank you for having me on the show tonight, as it is a great opportunity for other hospitals. Just kidding, does it have anything in it? Anyways, the Roy Adaptation Model states that a person is in constant interaction with a changing environment, and that that person uses a set of processes to adapt to an environmental stimuli. It also evaluates the clients in the physiologic mode, aiming to provide holistic care. Wow, Liz, that sounds like a very effective theoretical framework in regards to client care. Why is it that you think other hospitals should adopt this? Well, actually, the adaptation model encourages a nurse to provide holistic care through environmental stimuli according to the patient's needs. And so it enriches the life of the nurse and the patient, thus improving outcomes. Like right now, I'm getting stuff thrown at me, but I had to adapt to that. Anyways, I actually brought my patients here with me tonight, and they'll be sharing how this theory was applied to their plan of care. Hi, my name is Carol Smith. I am 72 years old, and I remember staying at a hospital, I think. Sorry, my memory is kind of fuzzy. This nurse in particular was very nice and helped me adapt to the onset of Alzheimer's. The nurse really helped me cope with my diagnosis and made a specific care plan for me. She encouraged me to keep seeing my family members and friends, and I really thought my life was over since this disease has a bad prognosis. I was afraid of forgetting how to do a simple daily task, and I was very worried about forgetting my family members. The nurse suggested that I put sticky notes around my room and to keep a notebook. The notebook helps me remember things such as taking my medication on time or how to do other simple daily tasks such as brushing my teeth. I also write down any important events that I like to remember. I tend to forget a lot and I even forget where I am sometimes. The nurse also suggested putting sticky notes all over with little notes and pictures to remember all of my loved ones. I am so thankful to my nurse because she used Roy's adaptation model to help me adapt to my new life. Alzheimer's doesn't seem too bad after all. Hello, my name is Ava Diaz and I recently had surgery. After the surgery, the doctors told me I developed something called hypoparathyroidism, which is a cause of low calcium levels. I didn't even know we had such things called parathyroids. Anyways, the nurse was very helpful during my hospital stay, which by the way, everyone says we look like each other, but honestly, I don't see it. I was very scared because I have never experienced anything like this before and I didn't know how to adjust to the new changes. While I was experiencing the signs and symptoms, my nurse helped me feel safe because she implemented the Roy adaptation model in my plan of care. And let me just say, real talk, it saved my life. She allowed my family members to bring me stuffed animals and she even gave me a heating pad for my cramps. Oh, and bonus, she even helped me move my bed clothes to the bathroom because, you know. I would definitely recommend this theoretical framework to be implemented in client care. Thank you for sharing your experience. Next, we have a former client named Hattie Maybell, age 53, who will be joining us tonight. Hattie, go right ahead. Hi, my name is Hattie Maybell, and during the past year, I got diagnosed with clinical depression, lost my husband, and had my foot amputated. Gosh, dog, you stop pushing me in this chair. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I spent two weeks in the hospital. I never thought I was gonna be able to live outside of the hospital. But with the help of my nurse, Samantha, I overcome all my issues. She taught me how to cope using healthy mechanisms like getting a hobby, investing in self-care, and spending time with my friends. I'm so glad she used Roy Adaptation Model to help me overcome all my issues and now I can live a whole new life. Well, that was a heartfelt testimony, Hattie. Thank you so much. I can definitely see why hospitals should use the Roy's Adaption Model. It obviously helps different types of patients in coping with their difficult situations. Thank you everyone for joining us. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Sam Houston Live and we will see you next week. I'm Nicole Dawkins and this is me signing off. Thank you.